So we got a box. Yep. Hi, I'm Kit from Minor Conflict, and I'm here with Ellen. Hi. And we're gonna go over our lovely new pretty box, which is very exciting. Yes, the Domino's box, even though a lot of um, people got theirs well before. Well us. before, and have already painted it and everything. But we do it with <laughs> accents that are interesting. So, yes. you know. There's that. <laughs> I'm doing this real slowly. You ready? You ready? This. The review. Oh, it's just that Um. Oh, look, they got around yeah. the edge. Oh, I'm just they got. Oh yeah, there's wee boys those around here. They got all the family all the chapters. Little boys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got Marines on that side, yeah. and then your Ultras on that side. Are the Necron ones different? And then yeah, there's some different Necron dynasties on there. Just like a couple. <laughs> and then when you make for it, guys. No, you're not made for it. What are they called now? Well, granted, the, ne the Necro ones are little, not as obviously a of, different. A little bit of packing fluff in there. Um, that's cool. And some pretty little pictures. Um, I don't want to talk about the quality of the box because that's the most boring thing in the world. It's like, going to go straight in the recycling. Well, in the box, it got foam. And so you got really good, and it's like a nice, well constructed piece of cardboard. I don't understand why people talk about um, that. This is like, this is pretty pretty though. It is. You can frame it. He's like, this dude looking, he's got lipstick on, which is yeah. kind of interesting. Interesting. Um, not judging. You, you know. can do that. And then on the other side, you've got uh, the same, well, it's just the same artwork on both sides. And I think this is just uh, the instructions for assembly. At least. So I think that's instructions for assembly. And maybe like a quick check rule. Yeah. Like a rule thing. We'll see you in a minute. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, what's that? We got a pretty little picture thing, which is um, an ad for the novel. Cool. And it has a QR code so that you can buy it, but it's not like a discount or anything, so whatever. And then we have, look at all the boys. It's a lot of boys. So many boys. There is so much in here. Holy it's crap. It's about 61 miniatures, 67. It's, it's somewhere ridiculous. Around. We've got bike sprue. And Assault Sprue, Assault Sprue 2. We'll go over these in detail in a minute. They look identical, because they are. This one's got Necron on one side. <laughs> this is your this is your Lieutenant Sprue, so you got the Necron Lieutenant and the Primaris Lieutenant there, huh. which is pretty interesting, they best, go together. Yeah. Well, they are like best friends, essentially, right? I'm gonna try and separate these. Secretly on the down low. There. Um, Warlord Sprue. Ooh. So we got Captain on one side. Captain. Oh shit, so that's how they're doing it. That's quite cool. Yeah, and then we've got uh, Necron Lord on the other side, who's a very cool boy. Fuck, I'm excited about that. There's Necron on the base. I love that one. Um, who's this? That? That's Canoptic? Uh, that's the Destroyer dudes, right? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like the unit of three Destroyer fellas. At least a part of the Or at least some of it. Um, and then, I'm gonna keep, try and keep these like relatively separate. Warriors. Bunch of warriors. The other one is also the same thing. Bunch of warriors, identical sprues. Not terribly exciting. Um, no, no, they're, they're new they're, warriors. It is actually, yeah. that's quite exciting. This is the Canoptic and reanimated it's, dude. It's something and else. Probably the plasma uh, side. Yeah. Yeah, and the little um, the little boy. Oh, and the Scorpic Lord's there too. There's a lot in that one. And then. You got the very bored agent. The Blady Boys and the uh, Melter Boys. And I forgot the Melter Boys were in here. The Radicators, yeah. Yeah, um, and then the, um, yeah, the Bayguard Ancient and the Bayguard. Oh, and there's the tip on there too. But the amount of shit people were uh, talking about when they <laughs> yeah. released their rules. Do you know what I'm really interested about? Just quickly looking at this, we'll talk about this later as well. All of the heads are separate to the bodies. Every, oh. single, every single head is on its own little that is, Jimmy Jammy. That is so, I wonder if there's gonna be alternate Thank things. you. I wonder if there's like two options. Like well, the multi part for the Blade Guard's already got left, yeah. which is cool. Uh, and then there's some new pretty artwork here. This is the same artwork. It's the same artwork. That's exactly the same. That's okay. amazing. Guys, come on. Well, I guess now you're friends. If you split the box, you both get the pretty pictures. Yeah, I guess that's good. You don't have to fight about which picture you get. Um, but if you're Necrons, do you want the space ring picture? Bases. More bases. More bases. A lot of bases. A lot of bases. You can go over there. Ah, uh, you can go over there. <laughs> Fucking, I'm just gonna get that one out. It's gonna live in this box forever. Ah, oh, no, that's okay, cool. And then the big, pretty book. The book is pretty. Ah, oh, and some other shit too. That's a oh. 
your marine transfers for no no Nikon transfers. All the chapters are on there. There's no there's no Nikon transfers in there, is there? Oh no, and there's a couple on the side there, maybe? Or are they no. just space wolfy things? No, they're space wolf runes. Yeah. But the Necrons never had symbolism on them. Well, they kind of got it in their chest pieces anyway. Yeah, they really, etched right? onto their bodies. Um, what's interesting is none of these are the veteran ones aren't on here anymore, which is the one that I use for my Space Marine chapter as their chapter logo. So, sucks. <laughs> sucks me. Um, big pretty book. That's a thick book. That is a chunky. Because when you first boy. pick up the box, you're like, oh wow, that's heavy. And it's yeah. all this. It's not that shit. Got some nice paints. Oh yeah. Um, it's a shift in the lore. There's, okay. yeah, I'm actually quite excited about reading all this. Look at all this stuff, man. Lore, 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 Pretty pictures, pretty artworks. By each army. Is it new artwork? Was it like, I think, no, that's old artwork. But it's been colorized. Yeah. Then we've got a bunch of heavy metal stuff of all the, look at those custodians. I'm totally doing some custodians now. Maybe I might not about that. Look at these guards. I've seen that picture before. That's pretty. That's pretty. Bad mag, forces of chaos, righty ra. And then about halfway through, face by face rule stuff. More things on those stuff. Yeah, but it's each strategy. Oh, that's all your universal stratagems. We'll get to that in a minute. That's pretty exciting. There's just a bunch of like cool stuff in here, man. There is. Designers commentary. But I mean, there's Crusade the missions. We're gonna do something about that at some point. We'll have to talk about Crusade. They've done the thing which I don't like, which are the rules are at the back. The yeah, way. just put the rules at the front and then the lore at the back, and then we can go to it real easy and we don't have to search through the whole book to find it. Because generally speaking, and I'm just saying generally, people only need to refer to the lore once you're reading through that part, but one time. Maybe twice. Yeah, maybe, maybe a couple. Maybe a couple. But the rules. That's what you want. That's every what you're week. going back to all the yeah. time. Yeah, every week, so several times during the game. Make them easy to find. Yeah. Um, pretty, pretty rule book. I'm really happy. And there's, uh, that's just the cover art again on the bottom of the box. You can go here you now. Bye bye. It's harder than that book. This cover is very dope though. It's very pretty. Uh, you, all of this stuff is going to go on the floor because we're done with you. Yeah. Uh, this is just the instructions. Should we, should we have a look? Well, the instructions are back. I don't know what that front thing is. Probably the rule, but just the shorter version of it. Um, so we've got the instruction booklets, how to put all the boys together. They're multi parts, it's not terribly difficult. You probably don't even need to use glue if you don't want to. No stress. I think you have to use glue. Mm, no, it's Somebody did say it's all free to fit. Yeah, I think you can push to fit everything, right? Oh no! Well, maybe. The packs, yeah. The body, no, I think the you arms. Can. The uh, arms look like they're not. No, the arm, these arms are. Are they? Yeah. Well, there you go. They have sockets. Wait, these, oh yeah, so you get two plasma pistols in here. Do you? Yeah, because they're, they're identical versions of the same sprue. So that's yeah. interesting. So let's do that, I want to do... Well, one of the plasma pistols has got robot arms, so he's already failed on the church at least once. <laughs> yeah, 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 he did not re-roll that one. Um, that's the book thing that could go away. So this guy, what is this? This is, I don't really like how they've done those power swords, but that's not big huge fun. <laughs> this is Warzone Pariah. So this is just some more lore, I guess, specific to the box rather than the is this full setting. Oh, okay. Like the wider setting. Yeah. Um, what's in it? Yeah, just a basic breakdown of what's in the box. Yeah, this is just like your ham and you play a little method looking at. Oh! Got the rules. Then we got some rules. We've already seen all these. It's nothing like super exciting in here, yeah. I think. Uh, Everything got leaked. <sighs> yeah, this you can important. pause it and zoom in and look at those if you want to. Royal Warden. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah? Royal Warden. Yeah, he lets you fall back and shoot. Oh, that's really good strong. Yeah, for yeah. a big 20 man blob of Nikons. Is it fall back and shoot with penalty or just fall back and shoot? Fullback, shoot, and charge. Oh wow, with no penalty. No penalty, pretty good. Um, score fit, I'm not I'm not sold on this boy. No, I just- I, I don't think, know where he fits. I still think he looks a bit ridiculous yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to, we'll get to that. Um, but I'm also not, I'm not sure about these score fit destroyers. The, they're just in a weird strength, they're in an awkward position with their strength. Hmm, well, um, it's cause they're like strength six, I think, and then the big boss is like strength eight, but he's just a sergeant. So oh. I think you're just like keeping the sergeant alive. Yeah, true. Um, and then they don't have quite enough attacks to like... 
they built they kind of built like tank hunters but they don't really seem very these good are, for these aren't the team cab guys are they no 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 and then they're also like they don't have enough tank attacks to be anti-infantry either it's kind of so it's a bit it's they're in a funny spot uh crypto reanimator crypto thralls who i am in love with really good warriors with their weird new gun which i'm still not sure about um, yeah i don't scarab swarms which they're very fucking cool. Yes. I'm so excited about the, the new Scarab Swarms. Look yeah. amazing. They're like really dope. They're really Wait, actually. Cool. See them. Let's do. Let's do that. So yeah. I want. I think Space Marines. Let's do the characters first. Yeah. So who we got? This here? is Captain and Warrior Boy. Has he got two heads? He does have two heads. Yeah, he's got he's got three heads, man. He's got beard oh, head, he's got helmet head, and then he's got the um, one with the visor up. Visor up head, which, which is, is really cool. That's really really cool. Um, this, is, this is the bow one with the visor up, and it's one of my favorite heads. Yeah, um, because it just looks cool. <clears throat> His backpack definitely has the thing that I'm gonna chop off like straight away. The iron halo. The iron halo, I think. But it looks like it'd be pretty easy to do that, so that's cool. Yeah, one thing. Arms are separate, so you could just build the body and change the loadout out if you want to. Yeah, which is probably what I'm gonna do. But this this whole thing can be pushed together. Yeah, he is pushed for it. The base is pretty cool. The shield is like half the skeleton, so the rest of the skeleton is. Where is it? Somewhere there, which has to get stuck on. You got that Necron for the base? Oh, I'm not sure about the shield, eh? No, I think it, the, the way I, he's holding it. I'm I think the dead skeleton on it looks stupid. That's just my yeah. personal opinion. Um, the sword looks pretty good though, I gotta say. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty sword. It's, it's pretty not as thick. chunky. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be chunky, but it's actually quite thin. Mm. Um, he's got a cool little thing on his thing. He's a rare dude. I think you could do quite a bit of customization with him too. It's got quite a lot of detail. Like yeah. a lot more than a lot of the other primary stuff. Yeah, well this is where they're starting to introduce all that. The thing that I'm worried about is if you want to just build the body and then switch the head out or switch the arms out, mm. he's got this weird bit here where this shield goes. Yeah, you have to put that shield in. Um, so you're going to have to put that shield in, which is going to be hard if you want him to like have a bolter or something and it's going yeah. across his chest. Exactly. Um, you're going to have like a bolter where he's holding off yeah. to the side. And the sort. annoying thing is the actual, the actual push to fit part Kind of like a circle it. bit, so yeah. you have to shave that down as well. So there's no, there's really nothing you could do with it. I mean, if you really were good with green stuff, <laughs> yeah, and very keen, yeah, that's a bit of work. We'll see how we go. A lot of rocks. I might see how we go. Yeah, he's got a lot. He's got a lot of rocks, doesn't he? Yeah. Let's build up that Wait, base. Yeah, what's that? What's that for? I think that might be for this boy. Are you sure? Maybe. Maybe because his one already has like rocks. Know, we put, put more rocks on top of his rocks. Uh, wait, where's the? We can we can check that. Look at, Look at the picture of him. Uh, well, no, I just realized it's going to be upside down for the camera. But... It's alright, we'll explain to you with our word pictures. Yeah, he doesn't have that many rocks on there, so no. that must be for the Ekron dudes. The next one, huh? Angels of Death. Um, where is he? Where is he? Huh? He has no rocks either. That's not him. Oh, he's hiding way down the back. Yeah, he has no rocks either. We'll what? find out about that. Yeah. Bonus rocks. It'll be in the thing. I think they're all they're all like numbered and stuff. Maybe you can make him make his rocks taller if you want to. It's more yeah, options. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then we have the Lord, who's got the um the new kind of thing. I don't know. I'm probably gonna cut that cable off because I'm not a big fan of that. It seems like it would be very difficult to throw that big spear around when it's got I... that cable hanging off it. I hate painting cables. I hate when cables are on my models mm -hmm. because painting around them. Painting on them, it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's not great, hey. Um, but I really like his dangly bits. I think they'd be real cool in like kind of like a, you know that like oxidized copper and stuff? You yeah. know that blue stuff that, that um, you can put on and then kind of rub away and it looks oxidized? I think GW I think has, really cool. has gone down this line with the dangly bits in the front because the limited edition kind of had dangly bits down the front as well. Yeah, like a dangly bit, so do the T-Sons. I cut that shit off. <laughs> I was like, yeah? I'm not painting. Well, I quite like at least with the sisters like one that looks yeah. horrendous, but this one actually looks cool. I'm a big fan of this dude. I think he's a little, he's a bit chunky, but... Um, he's, but that's good because it shows that he's more than the regular warrior. Yeah, so. he's kind of a big dude, eh? Yeah. Um, he's got his little wrist blaster there, which is the thing that Enrica has. Mm. That's his head. No, no other options for his head. No, but his head's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, he's a cool dude, man. I find the only issue with some of these push to fit ones, because I've bought some of those easy build space wings. I think they're also push to fit. Yeah. It's sometimes, you gotta be careful, because before you put the glue on, you have to dry fit it first because some of them don't 
go all the way in, and if you already got glue on it, yeah, then coming out, yeah, yeah. So sometimes you have to cut, trim the plugs down just this a little is a, bit. This is a word of advice. Um, yeah. The one thing I'm not super stoked about with this boy is he's holding his, he's just kind of very static. Yeah. And I kind of want him to be like, like spare tip down, kind of like looking Dragging like he's doing a bit more. It's very hard to adjust this guy's pose. Yeah, I'm wondering if I just cut that arm off, cut that uh, that hand off at the wrist, and then um, cut the middle, the rocky bits off the bottom of the spear, if I can do anything with him. I just and remove that cable. It's none, of the, yeah, none of the Necron characters poses are particularly Great. <laughs> well, they're Necrons, right? So yeah. they're supposed to just be Terminators. Yeah, but they also but they have more personality as the Lords and the things. <laughs> exactly, right? Yeah. So for the Wee Boys, I'm okay with it, but for the Lord, I can't. I find the Wee Boys have a little more personality. They're not sort of like a Walking Dead. Yeah, they look cool. Should we do them? They're quite good. Whereas these guys are just standing around. Yeah. All right, let's hop the next brew. Let's go Lieutenant's home? Yep. <laughs> In the bin. <laughs> um, so this boy, I actually like him more than the captain, I think. Yeah. He's, he doesn't have quite as much detail, so he looks pretty good, but he also is kind of like... He's the only special. one that has only one hit option you can't change. Yeah, that's right, because I'm going to use a different one anyway. Yeah. Um, I, again, this like... Stealing Grey Knight heads, just saying. Yeah, his Volkite gun is pretty dope, but I'm pro I think I'm going to arm swap him, actually, because I'm going to keep the sword on his hip, and then arm swap him to give him the bolter. You know what the Volkite gun? And just run it as a lieutenant with the first The first time that you got a new, the Neo Volkite gun, because I think... It's the new Volkite guns. It's got no AP. It's got as more wounds though. On a, on, a hit roll of, on a wound roll of a six. Yeah, true. I'm not that in love with it. No. Um, and I kind of like my lieutenants because because they're, they're generally just like shooting anyway. Exactly. And how many points is the Volkite gun? Come on. Yeah, I think it's included in his point cost. Um, switch the head out real easy to do. Just trim the... Got a little Necron head for the base as well so we can stomp on a boy. He's just, he's just a rad looking dude. I really like him. His, uh, his pistol holster is way too chunky. But I've said in other videos, I don't like having dead enemies on my bases. Yeah. Because... I don't mind it, because I, I play my uh, Marines and my Necrons. Like, my, my Marine chapter comes from a world where there is a tomb world, so for me oh, okay. it's like, it kind of it makes sense. That suits, sense. that fits. Because I kind of paint them, they're both their bases are the same, so yeah. they like, yeah, that kind of works. But um, yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. Again, they've got the, like, the shield. And he's got the storm shield. But his one... Is a lot easier to kind of mitigate, I think, because it doesn't it doesn't extrude out. The thing the about through. this, you look at the helmets and you look at the little shields, and that because when I saw the, the the renders, I was like, those are great knights. It's very great knight. Yeah. It's extremely great knight. The, the helmets look like great knight helmets. Yeah. And so does the coat of arms on their shoulder. But they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. They just uh, taking that. Aesthetic. Well, I think that aesthetic's kind of gone. Yeah, because you used to just be the Grey Knights with the little Terminator shoulders, but then Space Wolf Terminator's got it, and then some other oh, yeah. Deathwing Terminators have them as well. It's just yeah. become like a Terminator thing now. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just really like that he's got a sheath power sword on his head. Yeah. I think that's fucking awesome. It's because you can have the war lo the loadout. Yeah. But and he's also, um, he's wielding his shield rather than just like holding it. The shield over the awesome. tip. So The shield looks cool. Yeah, it's fucking cool. They don't want the skeleton. Well, I'm not a big fan of too many purity seals. I, get, I think they should only have like one. And this guy has like three of them. <laughs> but personal preferences, right? Yeah. Um, we then have a lieutenant. He's got the special gas blaster, which is pretty cool. Um, he's got what looks like just an immortal head. He's got some dangly bits on his arm. I like his spine. His spine looks cool. His spine is very cool. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of his dangly guys because they're kind of like on, they're like draped across here. Oh, yeah. Which seems kind of weird. But well, I might just slice them. I have no idea what the Necron fashion sense was like before yeah, it became a cat. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually thinking, so what I might do is this bit here, I might just cut that off and then center it on the back of that piece there. So yeah. it's kind of... Um, right behind them. Yeah. And I think that'll work. That'd be really easily just to like cut off and reposition. Yeah. His face, cool. Yeah, he just looks like a fucking Necron dude. I mean, if you look just at the legs, like that, it just reminds you of Terminator. Yeah, because he's, he's like, he's yeah. got it, eh? Yeah. He's got it, man. He's rad. Um, that's that's the lieutenants, right? Anything else we want to say about them? No, that's no. about it. They're pretty cool. I... All right, so assault marines. assault marines sprue. We got two of these, and they're identical. They're identical. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was worried about this because there's one of the guys who has the chainsaw on his hip, but it looks like 
It's just, yeah, something that you can stick on so that can come off really easily and you don't have to have it there. Well, we were saying that everything's pushed to fit, I think that... That's the one piece that isn't it? That yeah. one piece you that have to glue on. Yeah. And the heads. All the heads are separate! Guys, they did it! They, 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 they listened. They're so good. <laughs> I'm really happy about it. They're not fused to the bodies. Yeah, it's really, really, really good. Um, and they don't have a whole lot of like, um, oh, they do have some patches and stuff on them. Mm. But um, they're not over encumbered with yeah. detail. So you can actually add a lot to them if you wanted to like add extra um, bits and bobs. Or if you don't. Or if you don't, you just leave them pretty clean. I like the detail that the holsters are empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're holding their pistols out. Yeah. It's true. That's actually really cool. Um, apart from some of them who might not be, do they have, is there anyone with full holster? No. I'm just really happy that the heads are separate, that makes me really happy. It just makes life easier. They're really dynamic, they're really like runny and looking dope. Their chainsaws are really cool. They have hilts, their chainsaws have hilts. To be honest, the, the, I really like the design of them. I don't believe these chainsaws are any bigger than the regular space runners. They don't look bigger. Yeah. They look about the same size, eh? They do look about the same size. But you have to get an extra minus one. Um, I'm gonna get a real cool, pretty close up of those chainsaws because I really like they have hilts because they never do. And it looks way cooler this way. Yeah, it does. Um, but I'm probably actually gonna cut these arms off and just get them bolt guns. And just have real cool guys running around with, with fantasies and bolt guns. Oh yeah. Rifles. You don't want assault marines? I do, but I think I'm gonna wait for the multi-part kit because I want to see what the extra options are. Mm. It could be, I uh, know, Space Marines, it won't take a long time for it to no, <laughs> come out. No, it'll come out like in a, in a week or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it turns out we've been mass producing them for like two years. Um, all the heads are separate, so the bareheaded guy, you don't have to have him bareheaded, it's rad. There's your one um, purity seal. <laughs> there's your one purity seal on the backpack, that's fucking annoying. Um, but that's, that's alright. That's fine. Um, yeah, they're just real cool. And um, I really like that um, the arms the arms are not like attached. The shoulder pads are attached, which I know annoys some people. It does. But you can 3D print your chapter markings. It's not a big deal. Yeah, and you can just cut them off or something. I don't know. I don't think it'd be too hard to deal with. Cut the shoulder pads off? Yeah. No, I think that's too much work. I would not, I would yeah, not there's a lot of detail on there. Um, yeah, I think they're really cool, man. I think they're really, really good. And they're real, like the, the actual design of the models is quite well thought out for switching pieces out and um, but yeah, still being monopose. <laughs> it's still being monopose, which, which is, is another reason why I'm waiting for the other kit. But, but they'll I mean, be probably fairly monopose anyway because yeah. that's the primary. It gives right. them more detail, yeah. but it's a sacrifice. All right, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. This is the second one. That's ten boys, done and dusted. Congratulations. Biker boys. Fucking, I'm so excited about these, man. It should look better in person than it does on the pictures. You reckon? I thought the pictures look pretty good. I don't know, just the, the low ground gland clearance always <laughs> yeah. a little bit, but. The only thing that I'm seeing instantly that I'm not a huge fan of. Again, the heads are separate. Um, the arms are separate, so you can switch them out. Apart from the, the actual, no, one of them's not. One of them's attached to the um, the grip of the bike, so. Which makes sense, we can have like both hands off and just shooting pistols off into the. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. Um, I would have liked it maybe if they'd cut like if the the arm was attached to the body and the thing was, and the handlebar was coming out of the hand, yeah, I think that might have been an easier way to do That's it. It's the only really janky mold line right there. Yeah, the actually, yeah, the mold lines on everything are pretty. Well, it's because they're brand good. new sprues. They're real solid, eh? Like on the sisters one, there's almost no more mold yeah. lines. Almost. Again, we've got the chip power, the chainsaws here, and they've got those little like van braces with the little logo on them. Mm. Um, I don't quite know how I feel about that because I feel like it might look a little weird having those like fan braces next to the regular intercessors who don't have anything. True, but they are different. Because they, these are just troops choices, right? Like the assault marines have them as well. And yeah. they're just troop choices, so why do they have fancy things on their wrists when the other guys don't? Because they're more likely in combat and they might need a deflect a shot. Uh, no, the, yeah, that I get, but why do they have like a nice little golden little emblem on it? Because the they're fancy. Don't. But they're not fancy, they're just <laughs> troops. I don't like it. I'm being nitpicky though. The truth like, plus I'm, more I'm point. complaining about it. That yeah, one extra point, point is... <laughs> yeah, that's where that point goes. Um, the legs are attached to the bike, which could be a little bit difficult when it comes to painting them in a multi-assembly. Mm. Um, but it's all right, it's not a huge deal. If any of you guys have been online, you see that people are churning these things out on 3D printers already. Because uh, apparently, on one of the community pages, they released like this sort of like side schematic diagram of 
the bike. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. And the people were able to, like, oh, this is perfect. Now we can make out. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I do. Um, the bodies are separate, though. Yeah. The arms are pretty good. Again, the heads are separate, which I'm really happy about. These look fucking rad. These are dope. I um, mean, I'm really excited about these. I think they're gonna be. They got butt plugs, which is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> push fit, mate. Push fit. Push fit. Push fit. Push plugs. Actually, I don't know if this one's a push fit kit. Uh, it's got lots of holes for things to see. It does. Too. And the backpacks. Oh uh, yeah. The power packs are all there. Yeah. I wonder if the wheels could spin. Again, no. it's things like this, right? <laughs> it's these little like yeah. that power sword, that chain sword. I remember somebody asked online if you could make the wheels spin somehow. So no, you can't. No. Which would be a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, you don't really want that, right? Yeah. Um, I'm really excited about getting lots of that Agriland yeah. uh, crackle stuff and just yeah. like shoving it into in between the tires. That would look cool. And then all dusty and sandy and cool. I'm not super stoked with like the, the weapons that they've given them because I think um, one of them has a has a uh, chainsaw out and then the sergeant has a bolt pistol out and, which seems kind of weird because he's got the extra attack so wouldn't you give him the sword? Yeah, you would. <laughs> I but know. I think... I really like these guys for like putting up objectives because they shoot a shit ton, they charge in and they hit just yeah. with a lot of attacks. Like against like guardsmen or something, or, or even just the defenses, <laughs> I think would be quite good. They'll be able to shoot through screens and then charge something behind them. That's, yeah. They're ridiculously good, I think they're, they're really good. You're gonna see a lot of them. I'm gonna be getting some more of these, I think. I already see people like, hey guys, if you're not if you're selling your outriders, you don't need them, I'll buy them. I was like, I don't think anyone's gonna I don't think anyone's gonna sell them. But good luck to you. Um, then we have Blade Guard dudes. There's, uh, this is, this is, there's a lot here. I think out of everything, this is going to see the least play. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're that good. Not for what they are, not for what they do. They're, they only cost the same as like an Intercessor squad though. They're not very expensive. But that's the difference between you know, what? Five guys that can do... Shooting and hitting. Shooting and hitting opposed to five guys that can do a walk. Yeah. I mean, they got pistols, don't they? Um... Do they have pistols? Who? The, the Blade Guard? Yeah, they, yeah. they have heavy bolt pistols. They have the same ones that So I guess they can still do some shooting. And yeah. the heavy bolt pistols range 18, so they shoot for a fair while before they get there. Yeah, yeah, um, So we have a lot. Let's do... Okay, so we got Melter Boys here first. Let's do them. Yeah. Because they're going to be really good. They're chunky boys. They're all... They they are very mono. Like, I don't think there's much customization you can really do to this. Even game. between the three, they look... Pretty much identical. Yeah, I can't really tell the difference, eh? But again, the heads are not on the bodies, so you can make some changes there. Yeah. And God, I'm stoked about that. These I guys are the new Terminators, it. by the way. Oh, yeah, Gravis are definitely the new Terminators. Yeah, yeah so for sure. Get used to that. Um, I, I'm just waiting for that Gravis combat unit. I, I was really, I thought these might be the Gravis combat unit. I was expecting these to be the Gravis combat unit, yeah. but they're not. They're more like a bodyguard. I really don't think you'll see much play with these ones. No, I, I, I don't see, see sure. I don't see the point of it. The sword's very cool though. I like this, the design of them. They are, I mean, with the new Storm Shoot wheels, they are basically Terminators. Yeah, because they do have a top save, but they're yeah. not T5. Yeah. Which the Gramps guys are. Um, the game, they have the little doohickeys on the, um, on the power packs. Yeah. yeah, which, um, they don't they don't get it in Bunso, do which, they? Apart from the Storm Shoot. The Storm Shoot goes in Bunso. Yeah, but they, they don't natively have one. So no, why, do they, why do they have Iron Halos? It's it's maybe the Storm Shoot is just a prop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they as well are very, they're not going to be very multi-party. Like, I don't think there's a hell of a lot of customization to really be done. No, because with the robes and everything, it's going to be hard. Yeah, to and the anything. shields go over the front of the bodies, and that's kind yeah. of built into the sprue as well. And so he's pushing a bit on his knee. Yeah, like, um, they're, they're kind of, they're kind of what they are. So if you were planning on, like, turning them into stern guard or something, you might have to wait till the multi-party kit comes out. Yeah, even then, I don't think it'd be that easy. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Um, then over here, we have a bunch of characters. And these dudes are pretty rad. Um, I really like this chaplain. He's a real cool dude. His backpack is covering it so <laughs> many, like. That's some sister levels of my little purity Yeah, sense. yeah, he's a very pure boy. Um, oh, he's done then, some shit in his life. And he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this I don't, this is real funny. The, the, just, the just a car with the, um, with the sword. Wait, is there an alternative? He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a shield. Does he have another option to taking that stupid hourglass? But it, no, but it is connected at the wrist, so you could just like cut the wrist off and put a bolt pistol on there. True, but the, technically that hourglass is war gear. <laughs> it's the thing that does the thing, right? Yeah. Um, I'd probably chop that off and use that chain because that's actually quite cool. Yeah. Um, so that boy goes with that boy. Um, that's their skulls. He has a cool thing on his thing. 
Where's his head? Is his Where's head? his head? I think the head's here. So that's who's that? That's the blade guard ancient's head. Yeah. Where's the Justicar's head? Because his head looks stupid. Um, that's the chaplain's head there, the one with the pipes and stuff, and he kind of looks like a bit robotic. Mm. That's the Justicar head there. Yep, still looks stupid. Yeah, still looks dumb. <laughs> yeah. He has no nose, it's so weird. And it's not a helmet thing, it's just he has no nose. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Wait, let's look at the back. Uh, uh, I can't tell if it's a helmet or not. I don't I'm think still so. not sure. I think you could just paint it however you wanted to. Yeah. You could paint it as a helmet. Just easily, take it off. And it would look legit. <laughs> Um, but again, the head's not attached, so just fucking switch it with another one. Yeah. Switch it out with a Reaver's one. A Reaver head. Yeah, a Reaver head would be cool on him. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I think I'm gonna do that for both of those guys, because I have some spare. I have a shit ton spare. Um, I really, I think, I was planning on not keeping the Justica, but then I started thinking about my Space Wolves, and I was like, oh fuck, maybe I should No, I think there's a lot of play with him being able to make a unified last. Yeah, I think that's actually quite good. But again, especially if he's in the center of the board, and you're just and you're like and you have guys off to the each side of him holding objectives, and he's within six either way, so he can pick which one. Yeah. Well, those are characters always get sniped anyway. He could get sniped, and the opponent could just not end up charging that unit. That's the thing with all the the bubble auras. I think are going to be not as effective because you need them to be with one of the wings. Yeah. So that he's not getting shot, so he's yeah. only going to be affecting one wing. But with um, Space Wolves, when yeah. you have the armor of Rust going up one side of the board and then him going up the other side of the board, like you're always hitting first. Exactly. You're There's, always hitting There is some play. But uh, for the points, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Yeah. I really, I really just want to cut that arm off and have like him with a crozier over the shoulder. I yeah. I think it'd be way fucking cooler. Just make him a chaplain? Yeah, just make him a chaplain. Yeah. Cut the cut the rest off, give him a bolt gun. Just yeah. Have him as like a cool dude. But I like the other chaplain too. I think the other chaplain's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know if you need that many chaplains in your life. Yeah, there's a lot of chaplains. And, um, no, and when the chaplain on the bike comes out, yeah. there's another chaplain on top of that. I'm uh, I'm not a huge fan of this guy's Crozius. This uh, one. I think it's a little chunko. Yeah. But I just saw this piece here, which would go really perfectly to go. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna chop that off and put that on there. <laughs> yeah, but I mean everything's scaled up. Yeah. It's just lot, it's the length of it that I think. Yeah, it's too long. It's almost, me. It almost looks is that grapes? Grapes? Oh my god, no, uh, no, no, it's, it's an eagle. It's, it's, a, eagle it's the feather chest of the eagle. But it looks like grapes. <laughs> the down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, paint them green, paint them green. See how it comes out. Um, Blake got ancient. Most boring model yeah, here. Fuck, he's a weird dude, eh? He's just, he looks bored. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about this before, but I, so I was like, I, he probably would be. Yeah. Because if he's surrounded by his like buds with storm yeah. fields and they're all like getting in and yeah. he's just like, yeah, good, you hit, yeah. hit him again. Yeah, no, you cool. You got, yeah, good job. Um, I don't even have a pistol, I can't even shoot. I'm just holding this, this dead I'm hand I'm holding this dead hand, it's all, that's all I'm doing. Can I, do you reckon I could jump? No? No? Still, no, all right. The combat's just going on around him and then he gets sniped in the head. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's his life. Um, and because he only really affects, he's just a banner boy, but his special ability only really affects the blade guard, I don't really think he's Again, because I don't think many people are gonna take the blade guard, why would they take him? It's yeah. Just... Um, but no, he's like, you know, he's not, I, I, I feel like I wanna say he's, he's a beautifully designed and sculpted model. The detail is incredible. Um, just but the pose, the pose boring. is like, I don't know if he's on point, eh? And again, I don't know if how I feel about the skeleton on the pose. I, no. I mean, it's a little dark for me. And I know it's, it's, I know it's 40K. It's, it's not it's dark, dark. Like, it feels like, okay, we've had skulls on everything. We need to step that up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to bring the whole fucking skeleton on. It's the like, that's, for, that's a little bit too extra for me. Yeah. And I know it's like venerating like this, this this like champion and it's like his body that they're like, yeah, it's fucking, you know. Look at him. I almost say Grimaldus, but that's yeah. too specific. Johnny on the on the pole. Yeah. Um Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean could you could you like uh, venerate me in some other ways? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Can you like maybe just like bury me in a real cool way? Or like can I have a statue? I mean the way they versus <laughs> attach them is they literally just tied him to Yeah, it's just like string. Like you think they'd do so I don't know, man. Like the holy know. zip ties. To keep him yeah, up. Yeah, I, I don't know about that boy. Um, but everything else is really cool. The chaplains are cool. This, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think there's some. I do like eliminator helmets. They're sort of, they almost look like mandible blasters. Yeah, them. they're the same as the aggressive ones. Yeah, yeah the same one. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty into, it. and I do love this. I, I like the Black Guard veterans. Like the, the pieces of them are really cool. They are. What is also rad is actually I didn't notice this until just now. 
But although the shields and the bodies are real mon monopos and there's not much you can do with them, yeah. these like sword arms are perfect. Well, like, they, you could literally just cut that out and stick that on another boy. You can change it into three extra lieutenants or three extra cadets. Yeah. Cause like- I think that's where honestly, you're gonna see them most. Is if you just get- HQ If you just get one of these primary assault intercessors, remove the arms, like yeah. don't put the arms on them, give them power swords, you got some pretty fucking cool dudes with power swords running around doing whatever. I don't know. I think it's pretty fun. Cause you might have options to have storm shields on your captains there and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think honestly, if you if you look at Zerin anyway, I don't think it's a big deal to have a storm shield on his Yeah. But the thing is, I think lookout is gonna be harder to do. Yeah. Because everyone's gonna take mid squads, you only have to kill two gonna... two intercessors before you can start shooting at the yeah. HQs. Cool sprue though, man. It is. It's all real cool. Uh, next up is Necron. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what we're getting into by looking at it. It's a mess of things. Yeah, it's all, this is, so this is definitely the, the, let's start with the Warriors. Yeah. Um, so there's two of these and they are identical. And I really want to count up these guns. Scarabs. Scarabs are dope. We should flip it one. up. Okay, yeah, yeah, flip it over. How many regular guns have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are there 10 regular guns? There should be. But there's 10 spurts, so you can choose which guns you want to put on these boys. Hopefully, yeah. Holy crap, that's amazing. That's <laughs> actually, I was worried that wasn't going to happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe Don't tell not. Me there's nine. That's really annoying. What? Four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. What am I missing? I don't think. Ten? Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, there's ten of each. Yeah. Yes, I was really worried that we were gonna have like five guys with the double guns and then five guys with the single ones. And you yeah. have to like pick. I think. That's very cool. If you were keen, and you had to be quite keen, you could possibly magnetize them. You'd have to be real keen. Yeah, well. You'd have to be very, very keen. I've done that the hard part is the, the internals of the bodies aren't very thick. Oh, no. no, I guess there's somewhere you can, you can probably stick a magnet in there somewhere. Yeah. It, I'm not saying it's going to be that best. I love the heads are all like dunked up and like wrecked. Because they're, the only, the arm is attached to the weapon. The arm is attached to the weapon. And then, but the other arm isn't. And, and vice versa, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other arm is free. So there's obviously like two two right arms with the guns, yeah. one left arm holding the thing, yeah. and then they just attach the shot. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's gonna be fucking hard. To do. Yeah, this is uh, this is cool though, man. I'm really happy. I was really worried about that, so that makes me really happy. I'm I'm surprised at how like there's options in here. Yeah. I didn't think there would be this many options no. with the with the marine stuff as well. Um, so yeah, just like take that one choice, and that's all you got. Yeah, because that's how they've all, all the pushed. That's how um, Duck and Perry was, you know? I would not be surprised if this is actually the production screw sprue for the Warriors. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of good enough, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's actually true. That's a good point. And that'd be... All the skulls have like dinks and donks in them. And the only thing, if it is, the only thing I don't like is that the only way to get scarabs is... That's how it's all. So this, so if you bought this as a 10-man um, Necron sprue, it's almost identical in terms of what's in it as the regular 10 man current yeah. Necron Spurs. You get 10 boys and you get two Scarab bases, which is, I think, exact. No, in the current one, you get 12 boys and two Scarab bases. Ah, oh, better. But the, models are donkey, but the models are donkey ears. Yeah. So this is way better. And the guns, by the way, just having the, the gas guns like filled in. No more no DPS more. plastic see through green shit. Way better. Yeah, it is. Way I mean, better. for some people, they liked it because you can just paint everything else chrome and wash. With like the, the top layers from like they, the top They top are top. very uh, Walking Dead, so are they? Ah, I love them so much. These, these are the best warriors that I could possibly hope for. And the scarabs look so much better as well. Yeah. Uh, where is the one with his guts hanging out? Oh, there we go. Uh, there yeah, 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 there's the guts hanging out, boy. They've all got like a little bit of dangles going on. They all, they're all pretty yeah. shit. Yeah, they're all pretty dumped up. Pretty banged and they got like bullet holes and stuff in them, which is good because I won't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they're really great. They're really, really great and I'm really happy about it. Oh wait, the push fit. At least, ah, uh, so you might be able to just on. push fit their weapon then. Yeah, you might be able to swap their weapons out really easy. Yeah, 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 because there's a wee, there's a wee novel there for it to go into. But the thing is, do you have to put that in there? I think if you just trim, because I think you gotta put that inside and close it in on the arm. 
I think that's what you have to do. So you just trim. Oh, because yeah, the front piece yeah. will close over the yeah. arm. So yeah. you just trim that off and you just push fit it onto the other arm. It's yeah, and it will just sort of float there. But it'll, yeah. I think it'll look fine. You wouldn't even notice. Yeah. So that's actually a really good way to just change. Yeah, you don't have to magnetize them at all. Yes. Bro, this, this is a good tip for you. Well, um, we haven't assembled yeah. it yet, but we're only just going back. Yeah, so if you just chop the ball joint off the, um, the yeah. shoulder yeah. and just have it kind of sit in there. That's awesome. That's really good. I'm, 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 I did not think I'd be this excited about the Necron Warriors, bro. I knew they were going to look cool, but I'm excited about the options as well. I think the Necron Warriors it's really great. This is awesome. was the backbone of the army and probably the worst kit in the, in the line. I think, I think Necron Horde's going to be actually quite, quite interesting. They're gonna be hard to kill. Yeah. They're so literally in here, you have twenty. You have a twenty-man blob of warriors with whichever loadout you want to give them. Exactly. Which, That's so good. I mean, we were. That's so good. We were complaining that we don't see a point of the shorter range weapon, which I think is eighteen inch, hmm. isn't it? But the thing is, because the new board is so much smaller. That's actually not so. It's an eighteen inch rapid fire, though, so it's only one shot at eighteen inch, which is the stinky part. But it's strength five. Some is it? I can't remember the exact stats of it, but um, yeah, the regular ones are strength four, but they have AP. But the smaller board, I mean, you could see a lot more play with the stronger weapons. Yeah, up. I don't know. Hey, I'm, 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 well, I, I, when I say I don't know, I don't mean like no, I don't know about it. I mean like I genuinely don't know yeah. which is better, and that's that's really good. Yeah, that's a good place to be. That's just um, exciting. I always like that that you don't know what's the best play. Yeah, it's annoying, but um, it's good for the game when you have to make decisions like what that. Is what are these guys gonna do? They're gonna, they're gonna be moving up, sitting on the objectives. And yeah, and just holding. And so, so people are gonna come to them. Exactly. So, so maybe might... maybe the shorter, yeah, there's, oh, there's, man, play, there's, play, for there's yeah. play for both. There's play for both. There's play for both. It's defense versus aggressive, right? Yeah. Are they going to take objectives or are they holding them? Yeah. That's, that's, that, and that'll determine. Maybe I do wanna put the guns in there. I'm gonna have to sit on this one. I'm sleeping on that one. Yeah. See how much. <laughs> we got, I, I think you should sit on that before the, until the codex comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be it. Um, this is, this is all the characters pretty much, yeah. and the big boy. Let's, let's, let's do this first. So this is the, um, who is this? This is the school pick destroyers. Oh, uh, is this the... School pick, school pick destroyers. The unit. So the big one, the sergeant is the one with the big hammer thing here. Yeah. And the other boys have the little ones. I have, just, like, I have not, I did not actually see the little boys until just now, until you showed me them in the book. I must have, oh really? I must have blanked there with them the last time. Yeah. They're um... They're destroyed. I mean, they're, they're real cool looking. Yeah. But I don't know, I just don't know where they fit. No. And I don't know how what to do with them. Oh, these guys. Cause, but they do flat three damage, which will... No, the sergeant does flat three damage. Ah, uh, that's right. But again, I think we already talked about this on our previous video. It's kind of like the Exarchs. In the podcast, yeah, we did talk Yeah. You just sort of just trying to deliver the sergeant. Yeah, you to deliver the, the sergeant. Yeah. And yeah. you guys are just a blade of wounds, basically. Pretty much. Yeah. And they're, th they're three wounds each, they're tough. They're How many attacks are they? I mean, him by I him. think they have two, and then he has three. So that's enough to take out a squad of aggressors by himself. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he's not going to attack him. He, he won't kill a rhino. No. But um, <coughs> but that's not what his job is. His job like is to kill, a, kill yeah. elite units. That's, the, that's what I don't like about them. That's, that's, that, okay, that, that summarizes it really well. I don't like things that are made to kill elite infantry because something that has like a bunch of light infantry killing attacks will do their job. Yeah. As well something that has like good tank hunting ability. Yeah. So I don't know, I don't like the middle ground. No. Cause it's just, it's too specific. It's like where, if you're anti-infantry, like you're also probably pretty good at anti-tank just cause yeah. of the weight of attacks. Just the, all the um, attacks. Yeah, so I don't, it's too specialized. Yeah, mm. I don't know. But they're cool looking dudes and I think they'll be fun. Their game, like, there's there's no weapon options with these guys. They just kind of are what they are. The yeah. plasma sight's in here too, the little floaty boy. Um, I don't really know what the point of him is. But the thing is about the, where the new codex is too hard to say if things are yeah. good or not. Yeah, exactly. I feel I feel very similar to these as I do about the Blade Guard veterans. They're yeah. fucking cool models. I don't know if I'll use them every day, but I'm going to enjoy painting them and building them. Yeah. Because the, the, the blades look really, really cool. Yeah. And again, these guys have like damage on them as well. Like they've got little nicks and cracks and donks and stuff in them. They're really cool. That level of detail is insane. That really That's cool. really a tiny joint there. Yeah, but I think it sits inside like a big piece. It does, it probably. Be okay. <laughs> I'm just unnerving. Be great, man. I'm excited about you. I'm, I'm amped. This... I don't play either of these armies, but <laughs> they look really cool. <laughs> yeah. um, this is everything else. So I think over here, we've got um, the big floaty reanimator dude. He's quite, 
quite big. Yeah, I think, well, he's Where's that he? tall, so he's like, what, that plus that, he's, he's gonna be like this big. Yeah. He's like six inches, five inches tall. Some of that. Yeah, he's a pretty big dude. He actually doesn't look as flimsy as I thought he was gonna be. That's no. actually pretty solid. Yeah. That's his other legs there. Yeah. I think it would be alright. It's gonna be a pain to carry around, but um, it's all right. Every day, all the new stuff is a pain to carry around. Yeah. Um, we've got the also the floaty cryptic, who's not a he's a different kind of cryptic. Um, he has no body. He's just like a shell and some arms. He has no legs. He has no um, torso. Really? I gave him up a long time ago. He's pretty cool. And there's the what you call it, the, the Scorpic Lord. Scorpic Lord? Something like that. It's just a bigger version than the other boys, but there's a lot. He's a very busy boy. He's a very busy. Too many. Yeah. I couldn't decide what weapon. I think I, fig I think I figured out why I don't like this, which is the big his big sorty thing. It's too fat. It's too fat, and it's got like it doesn't have the Necron curvature to it. Like oh it's yeah. It's square. Right? It's just a big square hunk of metal. Yeah. Which um, none of the other Necron stuff is. Like you look compare it to like this guy's spear, right? Like it's quite slender and long. Yeah. It's got this nice like beautiful curve to the edge of it. Yeah. And this is just a chunk. I think it's supposed to just signify his raw power sort of thing. Yeah. Like there's no elegance to his attacks. It's just, he's just a, he's just a machine. Just slamming down on you. Well, he is a machine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, eh? I really don't know how I feel about this guy. I don't know. I, I think he looks a bit busy. <laughs> yeah, I think he's got too much going on. He's, he's holding like five different, he has like three different, yeah. four, three, four different attack profiles. Too Which is why he is very busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's no um, one to use. The Tin Can Boys. They're gonna be real fun. I think they're cute. I'm excited about them. I love them. Fun. I'm into it. I'm real into it. Um, yeah. I just love the spinal cord sort of things. It's, not like it's from the right, so yeah. they kind of like just brought that in like across the hole. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool. Even the big boy's got his big like spine. Going yeah. Outside. Getting that, getting that skeletons feel across. It's pretty rad, man. I'm happy. So that's the that's the cryptic there. The tin can boys here. This is Scorpic, this is Tin Can, that's, ten, that's, that's part of the crypto, it's all about the show. Even but, like the shell of this dude is yeah. like donked up. It is. It's really, really cool. And um, there's I more hope texture. I new wraiths that have that kind of texture on it too, probably, that'd be amazing. Probably. I hope so. Oh, no, I actually don't think you've seen new wraiths for a long time. <laughs> yeah, that's probably, that's probably a way to I think like, you got your stuff wait uh, five years before yeah. anything else. Because what, did Death Guard? Wait, okay, so Death, so the first box was Marines and Death Guard. And we got a whole bunch of marine models. Did we get any Death Guard models? I guess uh, no, we got like a whole range of Death Guard models coming out after that. Heaps. Yeah, I think there was- We few. didn't have Death Guard before that. No. So I wonder if no, the Necrons no. will get the same amount of like new stuff. Maybe. It's hard to say. I mean, they have like six models. <laughs> this has literally doubled their range. Already. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's and crazy. Plus increased their character pool. Which they yeah, probably yeah, didn't yeah. 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 <laughs> They actually had a whole bunch of characters, but they were all named and like, not that good. Mm -hmm. Just looks wise, I don't think they were that good. The, the new Overlord was pretty cool when he was new. But, and the cryptics. something we brought up earlier, this is not gonna be an easy thing to paint. Yeah, when they were talking about it not being a, a starter set, they were right. Yeah. This is, um, there's so much detail here. And all the damage and stuff, like that's all gonna be stuff that you're gonna have to deal with. Like, it's pretty cool. Because this is the thing, it's like, it's, including when I was building my sisters, which is the beginning of this sort of new range. And when they started going into their real detail, I was like, oh my God, when I built them, like, look at that detail. And then when I had yeah. to go around the painting, I was like, oh my fuck, look at all that detail. Because, ah, oh, the amount of time you just had to spend blocking in purity seals and things like that, that you can't cut off, because they're all yeah. there. Yeah, and they're attached, right? Yeah. It's pretty cool, man. It is really cool. It's pretty cool. Look at this pretty picture. It's a look at Abaddon, girly man. Him a good old bash up. Uh, I mean, I think it's gonna be a pretty one sided fight if it comes down to it. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Well, one of them can die and the other one can't, so yeah. that's kind of it. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff, man. This, I'm, I'm like, impressed with this book as well. It's really lovely. It's a lovely book. I wonder how much they would cost. Are they, on their screaming, own? are they screaming faces? That's what they are, right? Uh, it's chaos as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I was actually wondering yeah. if they were like, uh, especially helmets for a second. Why not screaming face? Well, it kind of looks like they have girls in some parts. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Chaos. Are these all the special ones that didn't cross the Rubicon. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these pretty, pretty blue red. That fucking thing. Oh, uh, it's thing. huge. This is actually the first time I've seen it with in scale. scale. Yeah. Oh my God, that's giant. It is real big, eh? It's 
bigger footprint than the Imperial Knight. Yeah. We've got some sisters in there too. Look at that. We've got a whole Imperium going. But then you better get eight okay. by your Heldrake. <laughs> yeah. Way too close, mate. Yeah. <laughs> back that shit yeah, up. Yeah, back it up. Put that knight in front of it. This, uh, yeah, this book's pretty great. Oh, 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 hold on. What have we got here? Oh, it flips out. Oh, it's a map of the world. Uh, yeah, because I remember someone saying this is an updated map. So for after yeah, all the psychic yeah. awakening, this is where the Imperium is at now. Well, not the Imperium, but the galaxy watching the spawner there. It's going to get dirty pretty quick. Mm. Fold outs always get fucked. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty great. I didn't notice that. You got a whole but yeah, like it's already been into it. Yeah. <laughs> you have one chance yeah. to get yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot here, eh? A lot of like I love this old black and white artwork. Like they used to this is this is old artwork. I know that's old artwork. <laughs> it's not so yet. good. Damn. It's pretty cool. There's not much to say, I mean it's the book. It's a good book. It's um, got the little What I like, if you look at it from the top or from the side, it's got these little bits here. Little indicators of where you're looking at. Yeah. That's quite good. So you can roughly tell where you need to go. Yeah. So what are we looking at here? This, this is army stuff. That's Turin and stuff. It's actually not that handy, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really tell you much where you're looking well, at. Well, I think that section there is rules. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that chunk there to there. Let's open that up. It's rules. Turin rules. Yeah. Um, and then when you get past that chunk, if you go into the back, Emissions. Yeah. So it is. It does. It, it does help a little bit. Kind of works, but it's not <laughs> the best system. It's just the way the front. Yeah, just put it in the front. Yeah. yeah, and color code it. The way. Colors. It's sounds like a broken. Oh no, it is, it is colored. I've been saying this for the last two editions. So. Yeah. That's the box. Yeah. How you feel about it? I'm pretty good. I think it's a good box. I I think it's astounding value. Yeah. And they're gonna keep it in the shop for a little while. So if you're watching this like three months down the road, yeah. It, so it's made to order. I mean, don't yeah. expect it straight away. But it's, yeah, it's not as time. scarce as people thought it was once was. Yeah, sorry, I was checking that my mic's still working. Mm. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you are a Space Marine player or a Necron player, or both. Get, yeah, and you are looking forward to getting into Ninth, then this is obviously the way to go. Yeah. Because you're getting the book. Yeah. This will be. As long as you've done some painting before or you're keen to like just get right in and do like a. To be honest, spend I. Spend some time doing it. <laughs> I don't think you have a choice whether you're into painting or not, because that's the direction the army's is going. Yeah, and you get points for it in the game now. So. Yeah, so you, if you're like, I'm not an advanced painter, but well, tough luck. All the models are going to be a real pain in the ass to paint from this yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder, the actual, the actual prim even the primary experience, even the assault ones have got like some pretty difficult shit to do on them. Yeah, it's nothing new. There's none of the new kits that have come out since uh, Death Guard have been easy in any way to paint. Yeah. It's, They've all gotten harder. The old Space Marines were easier. The Intercessors and the Space Marine stuff, at least they're the pretty easy. They're pretty easy, they're pretty simple. But they you can make them real hard though. They <laughs> if you can. Like I do. <laughs> yes. And they're getting more complicated. Like as yeah. the characters and things turn up, they start to put more detritus all over their armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I kind I mean, a lot of people didn't like the real clean look. I really did. I'm a big fan of it. I loved it. There's the clean armor panels. I, I was, I'm a huge fan. Because I used to play Space Marines and I never actually stuck any of the extra shit on them because I didn't want it on mm. them. But I think that comes from us playing like yourself and stuff and being yeah. like, yeah, no, all that shit's just going to get in the way. Yes. Like, you're doing your job. <laughs> High speed, low drag. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh dear. Um, that's it. Yeah. I hope, hopefully we'll get this out pretty quick. Yeah. I'm gonna try and edit this afternoon, so it should be out tomorrow. Sweet. Which is the Sunday, and this is the Saturday for us. Yeah. Is this? Do we get it a day early? No. Uh, yes, maybe. I don't know to be honest. Let me know when you get it, because I'm I'm curious if it comes out on the Friday or the Saturday in America, because we might be a day early. I don't know because it, day. I, I've seen a shitload of Adonis boxes. I mean, I've seen painted. Yeah, it's everywhere, right? <laughs> it's everywhere. We just need an NDA, and then we can exactly do that for our <laughs> fifty. <laughs> yes. Come on, GW, we got 50 subscribers already. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> um, cool. Peace, guys. Peace out. Have a good night. Enjoy your box. Get into it. Get into it.
minor conflict. 